today is quite a short in my mad box. I'm not getting as many books lately. Um, just because I'm trying to read the books which I already have on my shelf. So, um, I'll show you the books I did get though. The first thing I got isn't books, but I really liked it. It's from um, Chicken House Publishers in the UK. And they sent me an envelope with lots of... Um, it's like a... Um, kind of like a book but it's not put together and it basically has all the titles which are coming out and on the back all the information about the books so I think it's totally awesome there's a few books in here that I'd love the chance to read and I think that definitely was a good way to help everyone learn new titles so I'm hoping to um, start to do a weekly post but I do a different publisher every week and say their titles which are coming out within the next um, month or, or two. So you can always, always have favourite publishers so it's always good to see what books they're bringing out. But then also to um, see what other publishers' books they're bringing out. So the first book I got, which, well actually this was one that I got about three weeks ago from Leslie from my keeper's shelf. But I forgot to um, show you it but it's a book which I was so grateful that she sent me. It's Hourglass. Um, this is about a girl who I think can see into the past and she wants to change that so she meets a guy and it says he may not only change, um, stop her from seeing the past but he may change her future. So it sounds really good. I think it has a lot of, it's a book that has a lot of time travelling in so I look forward to it. I've heard really good reviews on that one so I can't wait to read it. The next book I got was another one from Leslie. She is so awesome. I'll leave a link to her blog down below. And um, it's Take Me There. It's about a boy called Dylan who is a troublemaker basically and a bad boy. He has a criminal record. He likes a rich girl called Jess but he believes that she's too good for him even though she sees the good in him and tries to see past the bad boy image that he portrays. Um, and then basically he has to go on the run because something bad obviously happens and he tries to find out about his past more and discovers things. So it sounds really good. Thank you so much Leslie. She also left a very kind note. Um, really appreciate all the books you're sending. It means a lot. Um, the next book I got was um, Uncommon Criminals. This is <coughs> um, on UK Swap Shop. I'll leave a link below. Um, very kind members put their books up for basically it's a mini tour and if you want to read it you put your name down I put my name down for this and the first in the series I haven't yet read the first in the series or got the first in the series so I'm going to have to wait to read the first in the series then read this one I never actually realised her glasses and um, the diamond behind it and I think that's jewellery behind it as well but it has kind of a 3D effect um, so thank you for letting me lend that book and I'm hoping to read the series very soon. The next book I've got is Dreamland by Sarah. This is about a girl called Caitlin and her family has had a big row because her sister has run off, her older sister. And she withdraws from the world, she's re real world and goes into a world where, um, her made up world where everything's perfect and the relationship between her and her boyfriend isn't as tough as it is. So it sounds really, well, quite a tough read, but also be really interesting. I don't think I've read a book by Sarah yet, even though I have a few on the shelf by her, so I'm hoping to read one very soon. I know she's a well-loved author by lots of you, so. The next book I got was from Random House, and it's um, called Wonder. This is quite a strange cover. I don't know whether this is going to be the official cover, because it's an... Um, uncorrected um, bound proof copy but the back is don't judge a boy by his face it's about a boy who was born with um, facial disfigurements and his parents have tried to protect him all their life so they've homeschooled him but now it's time for him to go to a proper school where he'll have to go with other children so he's um, obviously very pretty much dreading it because he's nervous about what people think but he wants to prove that he's like any other child. Um, in this book he's 10 years old so it seems quite a strange book for me to read because I don't necessarily like it when main characters are younger but I think it would be good to see how good the author can portray the fact that he's younger 
but I'll also make the story interesting. So, I have to see. Um, that's all for this week. I think, I don't think I've forgotten about 